So today, it's going to be an iceberg about the ocean mysteries. The only thing worth mentioning before we start the video is that there were at least 10 entries in this iceberg that just made no sense. Like one entry was named Titanic, and the other was named Eels. And I was like, why are these included in an ocean mystery iceberg? Like that makes no sense. So yeah, the entries that are a waste of a time are not included in this video, and only the entries that truly are ocean mysteries are included. So let's just start the video with Tier 1's first entry, 80% of unexplored ocean. An astonishing 80% of the ocean remains unexplored. Considering that water covers about 70% of the Earth's surface, it's logical yet staggering to realize how much of the ocean is still unexplored. While we haven't abandoned ocean exploration entirely, our priorities have noticeably shifted towards space, often making it seem easier to send people to the moon than to the ocean's deepest parts. Atlantis is a legendary city believed to have existed underwater, a story originating from ancient Greece. It was described as a powerful naval empire and an island that once dominated much of the world. Like many civilizations, both factual and mythical, Atlantis eventually met its demise and supposedly sank into the depths of the Atlantic Ocean. Though many entertained the possibility of its existence and sought to prove it, Atlantis is most likely an allegory. It represents an ideal utopian society that ultimately faced destruction. Nevertheless, some people still speculate about its existence, pointing to unusual objects found in the ocean, such as formations resembling roads and ruins. Over time, the myth of Atlantis has evolved, transforming from a powerful island nation that sank into the ocean to a utopian society of godlike beings living underwater, isolated from the rest of the world. Despite changes in the narrative, Atlantis remains one of the most captivating ancient mythological locations on Earth. Kraken. Often depicted as a colossal and terrifying creature, this giant cephalopod with enormous tentacles is said to have the power to drag ships and their crews into the deep sea. The Kraken's roots can be traced back to Scandinavian folklore, especially in Norway and Iceland, where it is referred to as the Krak. The Kraken's appearance and characteristics have varied across different stories and depictions, but it is generally portrayed as a massive tentacled creature inhabiting the deep ocean. Some accounts even suggest that the Kraken could create powerful whirlpools or storms. Associated with danger, it was considered a formidable foe for sailors and seafarers. Mermaids. Mermaids are another well-known mythical ocean creature found in the folklore of many cultures worldwide. They are typically described as having the upper body of a woman and the lower body of a fish with a tail. Although there are tales of mermen as well, these are less common. The myth of mermaids likely originated from ancient Greece, with the similar figure of the siren. Mermaid sightings were said to occur at sea, often during disastrous events such as shipwrecks or storms. They were believed to lure sailors with their beauty and singing, only to drown them. However, in other versions of the myth, mermaids were kind beings who helped humans at sea. The singing ability attributed to mermaids likely comes from the siren creatures of Greek mythology. Mermaids have been popular in art and literature over the years. Despite a few claimed sightings in modern times, they are less prominent than contemporary ocean cryptids. Nonetheless, it is fascinating that the mermaid myth appears in diverse cultures, from South America to Africa, Europe, China, Japan, Korea, and even India. The Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, is a loosely defined area in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean. Its vertices are generally considered to be Miami, Florida, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. This region has gained notoriety due to numerous stories and claims suggesting mysterious disappearances of ships and aircraft. The legend of the Bermuda Triangle became prominent in the mid-20th century, with accounts of vessels and planes seemingly vanishing without a trace while crossing the area. These incidents have often been described as unexplained and supernatural. Notable disappearances associated with the Bermuda Triangle include Flight 19, a group of five U.S. Navy bombers that vanished during a training flight in 1945, and the disappearance of the USS Cyclops, a U.S. Navy cargo ship, in 1918. Skeptics argue that the Bermuda Triangle's reputation as a mysterious death zone has been exaggerated. 
They point out that the vast majority of ships and aircraft navigate through the region without incident, and that disappearances and accidents occur in other parts of the world as well. Despite this, the Bermuda Triangle has been a recurring theme in popular culture, inspiring numerous books, movies, documentaries, and TV shows. Megalodon is another legendary sea creature, but unlike many mythical beings, it actually existed millions of years ago. This extinct giant shark species was one of the largest ocean predators of its time. While some remains have been found, the exact size of this shark is still uncertain. However, it is estimated to have been around 14 to 20 meters long, which is astounding, and possibly weighed up to 60 tons. To put this into perspective, the megalodon was significantly larger than a standard great white shark. The size of one of its teeth alone is astonishing. It's mind-boggling to think that such a massive creature once roamed the oceans. Thalassophobia is the term used to describe an intense and irrational fear of the sea, deep water, or just open water. This phobia can manifest in various ways, and its severity can differ from person to person. Individuals with thalassophobia may experience extreme anxiety, panic attacks, or a sense of dread when confronted with the vastness of the ocean, deep lakes, or even large open bodies of water. Triggers for thalassophobia can include the sight of water, large waves, the idea of being far from land, or underwater structures like shipwrecks or submerged objects. The underlying causes of thalassophobia can be complex and may involve a combination of factors. Traumatic experiences, such as near-drowning incidents or witnessing water-related accidents, can contribute to the development of the phobia. Evolutionary psychology suggests that an innate fear of deep water may have provided an adaptive advantage to our distant ancestors by promoting safety near the shoreline. Symptoms of thalassophobia can include rapid heartbeat, shortness of breath, sweating, nausea, trembling, and a strong desire to escape the situation. In severe cases, individuals may avoid situations involving water altogether, impacting their daily lives and limiting their ability to enjoy activities involving water. The SS Orang Madan is one of the most chilling maritime mysteries in history. In 1947, distress signals were reportedly sent from the freighter while it was sailing in the Strait of Malacca, with the crew allegedly declaring, all officers, including captain, are dead lying in chart room and bridge. A rescue vessel, the Silver Star, responded to the call, but upon boarding the Orang Medan, they found the entire crew dead, their bodies frozen in horrific poses of terror. There were no visible signs of injury, and the ship itself showed no evidence of struggle or foul play. Theories about the cause of the crew's demise range from toxic gas exposure due to hazardous cargo to supernatural explanations. Just hours after the rescue crew boarded, the Orang Medan mysteriously caught fire and sank, further complicating the investigation. Old sea monster legends are a fascinating part of maritime folklore, featuring a variety of mythical creatures. Among the most famous are the Kraken and the Leviathan, which we'll discuss in more detail later. There are also other intriguing sea monsters like the Sea Serpent, the amusingly named Sea Pig, and Giant Lobsters. Essentially, many of these legends describe oversized versions of existing sea creatures. These mythical beings were often depicted on old ocean maps, adding to the mystery and fear of the unknown depths. Imagine being a sailor during a time when much of the ocean was unexplored and encountering these terrifying creatures illustrated on maps. The Carol A. Deering a five-masted commercial schooner, is a haunting maritime mystery that has perplexed researchers since its discovery in 1921. The ship was found aground on Diamond Shoals off the coast of North Carolina, with its crew mysteriously vanished. What made the situation even more eerie was that the ship was in good condition, with the galley stocked with food and the personal belongings of the crew still on board. However, there were no signs of struggle or any indication of what had happened to the 35 crew members. Despite extensive searches and investigations by the Coast Guard and other authorities, no trace of the crew was ever found. Various theories have emerged over the years, ranging from piracy and mutiny to the influence of the Bermuda Triangle 
which is known for its own share of mysterious disappearances. A green flash is a fascinating phenomenon that occurs during sunset or sunrise. While it doesn't necessarily happen over the ocean, it is most commonly observed over a horizon such as the sea. This small yet distinct green light appears just above the horizon for only a few seconds before disappearing. The green flash occurs because the Earth's atmosphere can refract light from the sun into different colors. When the conditions are just right, the shorter wavelengths of green light become visible for a brief moment. The Milky Sea phenomenon is another fascinating ocean mystery, where vast areas of seawater emit a glowing light, most noticeable at night. Despite numerous reports dating back to the early 20th century, it wasn't until 2005 that photographic proof of this phenomenon was obtained. Scientists believe the glow is produced by bioluminescent bacteria present in the water, which emit a bluish light. The bloop is an intriguing underwater sound that gained fame due to its mysterious and unexplained origins. It was first detected in 1997 by the United States National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, and is among the loudest sounds ever recorded in the ocean. Initially captured by underwater listening devices in the Pacific Ocean, near Antarctica, the bloop's source was unknown for a considerable time. This sound is distinguished by its extremely low frequency and intense volume, often described as a series of deep, ultra-low frequency pulses that could be heard over a great distance. The bloop's mysterious origin led to various theories and speculations. Some suggested it might be produced by a large, unknown marine creature, potentially a new species of giant sea creature. Others considered geological activities, such as underwater volcanic eruptions, as a possible source However, in 2005, NOAA announced that the bloop had a natural and non-mysterious origin. They concluded that it was most likely the sound produced by the cracking and fracturing of icebergs as they moved and broke apart in the frigid waters of the Antarctic. The Flying Dutchman is perhaps the most iconic ghost ship legend in maritime lore, synonymous with supernatural occurrences and doomed voyages. According to the tale, the Dutch East India Company ship, captained by a man named Hendrik van der Decken, set sail in the 17th century, determined to navigate the treacherous waters around the Cape of Good Hope, despite facing a fierce storm. The captain's defiance of the elements and God's will led to a catastrophic fate, cursing the ship and its crew to sail the oceans for eternity, never to make port again. Sailors throughout the centuries have reported sightings of the Flying Dutchman, often describing a spectral ship illuminated by ghostly lights, drifting silently across the waves. These sightings are typically regarded as bad omens, heralding disaster or misfortune for those who encounter it. The Osborne Reef is an unusual and unfortunate example of a man-made artificial reef created in 1974 off the coast of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, using old, discarded tires. While the idea was intended to promote marine life, it turned out to be an environmental disaster. Instead of fostering a thriving ecosystem, the tires failed to stay in place, washing up on shores and further polluting the waters. Cleanup efforts began in the early 2000s, including the use of military training exercises to aid in the removal process. By 2019, approximately one-third of the two million tires had been removed. The Lake of Despair, also known as the Hot Tub of Despair or the Jacuzzi of Despair, is a peculiar and deadly lake located at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. This underwater lake lies 3,300 feet below sea level and has a temperature of nearly 67 degrees Fahrenheit, much warmer than the surrounding water, which is usually around 40 degrees. This extreme heat proves fatal to animals not adapted to such conditions. The lake is about 12 feet deep in most places and contains bubbles of methane that have seeped into the ocean. The fluid within this lake is also denser than typical seawater. The Jacuzzi of Despair spans roughly 100 feet in circumference and features cracks emitting salt and gases, potentially extending more than a mile deep. This eerie and hazardous environment highlights the lake's apt monikers and the lethal threat it poses to marine life. The story of Kaz-2 is one of the most intriguing maritime mysteries. On April 20th, 
2007, an abandoned yacht named Kaz-2 was discovered off the coast of Australia. The yacht's three-man crew, Derek Batten, Peter Tunstead, and James Tunstead, was missing and has never been found. Interestingly, all three men were relatively inexperienced sailors. What makes this case particularly strange is the condition in which the boat was found. It appeared to be in perfect working order, with the engine still running, the GPS system and radio fully operational, and even food set out and a laptop still on. However, one of the boat's sails was shredded and a life raft was missing. Despite extensive search efforts, the three men were never found, and it is presumed they went overboard at some point during their voyage. Oddly enough, footage from the first day of their journey, recorded by James Tunstead on April 15th, is the last known sighting of the men. The mystery of what happened to the crew of Kaz-2 remains unsolved, and many continue to speculate and search for answers to this day. Submechanophobia is a specific and relatively uncommon fear or phobia characterized by an intense and irrational fear or aversion to submerged man-made objects. This includes sunken ships, submerged machinery, and other human-created structures beneath the surface of bodies of water. The fear often extends to objects like underwater pipelines, bridges, or even submerged vehicles such as cars and airplanes. People with submechanophobia may experience extreme anxiety, discomfort, or panic when confronted with these submerged objects. The exact causes of submechanophobia are not well understood, but it may be linked to a fear of the unknown or a fear of objects that are partially obscured or hidden beneath water. It can also be triggered by the idea of something unknown lurking below the surface. Individuals with submechanophobia may be triggered by images, videos, or real-life encounters with submerged objects. These triggers can lead to strong emotional responses including anxiety, dread, or a sense of impending danger. Rogue waves, also known as freak waves, are similar to tsunamis but differ in that they can appear unexpectedly and are not typically caused by events like earthquakes. These unpredictable waves pose a significant danger to ships in the ocean. Unlike tsunamis, which are usually triggered by geological events, rogue waves can arise without warning and are often much larger than the surrounding waves, making them a serious threat to maritime safety. The Mary Celeste is among the most renowned maritime enigmas in history, with its tale dating back to the 5th of December, 1872. On that day, the British vessel De Gradia encountered the Mary Celeste adrift in the Atlantic Ocean, approximately 600 miles off the coast of the Azores, a group of Portuguese islands. The peculiar aspect of this discovery was that the Mary Celeste appeared to be deserted, with no crew in sight, except for the ship's cat. Upon boarding the Mary Celeste, the crew of the De Gratia found no signs of struggle or violence. The ship was in a seaworthy condition, and its cargo and provisions were mostly intact. However, the lifeboat and a small portion of the ship's documentation, including the captain's logbook, were missing. This unexplained abandonment has given rise to one of the most enduring maritime mysteries, leaving the fate of the Mary Celeste's crew unknown. Giant Oarfish The giant oarfish, known scientifically as Regalicus glezen, is renowned for its remarkable length and distinctive appearance. With its elongated, ribbon-like body, the giant oarfish holds the title of the longest bony fish in the world, often reaching lengths of up to 50 feet or more. Its silvery body is adorned with small, iridescent scales, and it features a unique dorsal fin that runs the entire length of its body, resembling an oar or ribbon. These elusive ocean giants typically dwell in deep waters, preferring depths between 656 and 3,280 feet. Their reclusive nature and deep sea habitat result in infrequent human interactions, rendering them rare and mysterious. Over time, their scarcity and distinctive features have woven them into folklore, with some cultures linking them to sea serpents or mythical creatures. Despite their enigmatic presence, giant oarfish primarily feed on plankton, gliding through the water to capture tiny organisms with their long ribbon-like bodies. Interestingly, they lack traditional teeth and even a jaw, relying on a filter-feeding strategy. Sightings of giant oarfish are rare, occurring mostly when they wash ashore in distress or near death, 
or when deep sea researchers encounter them using submersibles and remotely operated vehicles. HMS Daedalus Sea Serpent The sighting of a sea serpent by the crew of HMS Daedalus in August of 1848 has been a subject of fascination and speculation. The Royal British Navy warship's crew reported encountering a creature over 60 feet long, swiftly moving through the water. Given that oarfish typically do not reach such lengths, it might have been something else entirely. As with many oceanic creature accounts, accurately gauging their size can be challenging, and exaggeration is a common occurrence. One biologist suggested that the creature seen that day might not have been a giant oarfish, or even a sea serpent. Instead, it could have been a sci whale, one of the largest whale species, capable of reaching lengths over 60 feet, fitting the description given by the crew. The Vela incident refers to an unexplained double flash of light detected by an American Vela satellite over the Indian Ocean on September 22, 1979. Initially believed to be evidence of a nuclear explosion, the phenomenon sparked intense speculation and investigation as no country officially claimed responsibility for the event. The flashes were detected by a satellite designed to monitor nuclear tests, and while the U.S. government investigated the occurrence, definitive conclusions remained elusive. Some experts theorized that the double flash could have resulted from a secret nuclear test conducted by South Africa in cooperation with Israel, while others suggested more mundane explanations, such as meteoroids or natural atmospheric phenomena. The Dragon's Triangle, also known as the Pacific Bermuda Triangle, is a mysterious region in the Pacific Ocean extending between Japan, the Philippines, and Guam. This area is infamous for numerous unexplained disappearances of ships and aircraft, akin to the more famous Bermuda Triangle. Legends surrounding the Dragon's Triangle include tales of monstrous sea creatures, supernatural phenomena, and even ancient underwater civilizations. Reports of ships vanishing without a trace or encountering sudden, violent storms have fueled speculation about the existence of underwater volcanic activity and magnetic anomalies that could disrupt navigation instruments. One of the most notable incidents occurred in 1952 when a Japanese research vessel, the Kaio Maru, mysteriously disappeared while conducting surveys in the region, prompting a massive search that yielded no results. Scientists and researchers continue to study the area to understand the environmental and geological factors contributing to these disappearances. Blue Whale Mating Ritual The mating ritual of blue whales, the largest animals on Earth, is an elusive natural event occurring during their annual migration to warmer waters. The timing of the breeding season varies with the specific population of blue whales. In the Northern Hemisphere, it usually takes place in winter, while in the southern hemisphere it aligns with the austral summer. Male blue whales, known as bulls, play a crucial role in the mating process. They become highly competitive in their pursuit of mates, employing various tactics to establish dominance and gain access to receptive females. These tactics include physical displays, vocalizations, and competition with other males. The haunting and complex songs of male blue whales are a key part of the courtship rituals attracting females and asserting dominance over other males. These songs can be heard across vast ocean distances. During the mating season, some blue whale populations exhibit bubble net feeding, a cooperative strategy where a group of whales encircle and trap a school of krill, their primary prey, by releasing a ring of bubbles. This behavior also serves as a form of courtship, leading to social interactions among the whales. Once a male successfully attracts a receptive female, mating occurs. This process is believed to be brief and takes place in the water. After mating, the female undergoes a gestation period of approximately 10 to 12 months. Calves are born tail first and are nursed by their mothers for several months, forming a strong bond that is crucial for the calf's care and protection. Purple Orb during a Nautilus live expedition in the Channel Islands, a mysterious purple orb was discovered. The video of this find appears surreal. Upon sampling, scientists identified the orb as a pleurobranch, a type of sea slug. This living creature is capable of secreting poison and changing its shape, adding to its intriguing nature. These creatures can also come in various colors, but they are not typically purple, 
suggesting this could be a new species discovery. Baltic Sea Anomaly The Baltic Sea Anomaly refers to an unusual object resting on the seafloor in the Baltic Sea, discovered in June of 2011 by the Swedish treasure hunting team Ocean X. This anomaly is notable for its peculiar appearance and the mystery surrounding its origins. It resembles a rounded, disc-like structure with a diameter of roughly 60 meters, or 200 feet, lying at a depth of approximately 85 to 90 meters, which is 280 to 295 feet. Its appearance has led to comparisons with a sunken UFO or a strange rock formation. The composition and material of the Baltic Sea anomaly remain undetermined, adding to its mystique. Initial reports suggested it might be a metallic structure of volcanic origin, while other theories propose it could be a natural rock formation or a glacial deposit. However, ongoing investigations have yet to provide a conclusive answer. The discovery of the Baltic Sea anomaly has sparked numerous theories and speculations about its origin. Some suggest it could be a sunken shipwreck, an ancient megalithic monument, or even extraterrestrial. Despite these intriguing ideas, there is currently no scientific consensus on the true identity of the anomaly. Efforts to investigate the anomaly more closely have included diving missions, surveys by underwater robots, and sample collection for scientific analysis. Despite these efforts, the mystery remains unsolved, and the object continues to captivate both scientific interest and public curiosity. Brine pools. We previously touched on this with the Lake of Despair, which is an example of a brine pool. In essence, a brine pool is an underwater lake within the ocean, created by extremely high concentrations of salt and other gases. These concentrations are so dense that the brine does not mix with the surrounding seawater, forming a distinct and separate body of water. This explanation is quite simplified, and there's much more to the phenomenon. Brine pools are notably lethal to most marine life that comes into contact with them, supporting only very specific types of microbes that can survive in such extreme conditions. Julia. Julia is another unexplained and mysterious sound recorded in the ocean by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in 1999. The sound was extremely loud and lasted for nearly three minutes. Many believe it was produced by a large iceberg in Antarctica, but could it be some ancient monster lurking at the ocean's depths? Is it the same entity that made the infamous bloop sound? The truth remains a mystery. USS Scorpion The USS Scorpion, a nuclear-powered submarine of the United States Navy, tragically disappeared in May 1968, marking the infamous USS Scorpion disaster. This fast-attack submarine, part of the Skipjack class, was commissioned in 1960 and was primarily tasked with anti-submarine warfare and intelligence-gathering missions. On May 22, 1968, the USS Scorpion was reported missing while returning from a deployment in the Mediterranean Sea to its home port in Norfolk, Virginia. A massive search operation was launched in the Atlantic Ocean to find the missing submarine. The wreckage of the USS Scorpion was eventually discovered on October 30, 1968, approximately 400 miles southwest of the Azores, in waters about 9,800 feet deep. Despite extensive investigations, the exact cause of the loss remains inconclusive, though an accidental torpedo detonation is considered the most likely explanation. The tragic event claimed the lives of 99 crew members and led to significant changes in naval safety protocols and procedures, leaving an indelible mark on U.S. naval history. Lake Baikal, the world's deepest and oldest freshwater lake located in Siberia, is not only known for its stunning natural beauty, but also for the intriguing legends surrounding it, including reports of underwater humanoids. These mysterious beings, often described as having human-like features and living in the lake's depths, have become a part of local folklore and intrigue. Eyewitness accounts of encounters with these creatures often describe them as having smooth, pale skin, and long limbs, leading to speculation about their origins and nature. Some believe that these humanoids could be an undiscovered species adapted to the unique conditions of Lake Baikal, while others suggest they may be the remnants of ancient civilizations that once thrived in the area. 
The lake's exceptional biodiversity, including unique species of fish and the presence of large underwater caverns, adds to the allure of these tales. While scientific investigations have yet to provide concrete evidence of the existence of underwater humanoids, the legends continue to captivate the imagination of adventurers and researchers alike. The 400-Year-Old Shark The 400-Year-Old Shark revolves around certain shark species known for their remarkable lifespan, with the Greenland shark, Somniosus microcephalus, being a prominent example. Inhabiting the frigid waters of the North Atlantic, particularly around Greenland and the Arctic, these massive slow-moving sharks have earned a reputation for their astonishing longevity. Research indicates that some individuals may live for well over four centuries, making them one of the longest-lived vertebrate species on the planet. Their protracted lifespans are linked to an exceptionally low growth rate, adding only about one centimeter per year. This slow growth process takes decades. Greenland sharks are opportunistic feeders, consuming various prey such as fish, seals, and carrion. They are known for their sluggish behavior. Yonaguni Monument The Yonaguni Monument is a renowned rock formation situated off the coast of Yonaguni Island in Japan. Similar to many other underwater structures, there is speculation about whether these formations are man-made monoliths or the ruins of an ancient civilization, such as Mu, a hypothetical lost continent akin to the legend of Atlantis. Some even estimate that the structures are over 10,000 years old. However, much like other such formations, it seems likely that this is a natural occurrence, created from sandstones and mudstones. The Immortal Jellyfish The Immortal Jellyfish, scientifically known as Turritopsis dornii, has become famous for its remarkable ability to defy the conventional life cycle. Unlike most species, this jellyfish can reverse its life stages, transitioning from an adult medusa back to a juvenile polyp. This process, known as transdifferentiation, essentially rejuvenates the jellyfish, earning it the name, the immortal jellyfish. The power of rejuvenation in the immortal jellyfish is deployed in response to environmental stressors, such as injury, predation, or unfavorable conditions. When faced with such threats, it can revert to its juvenile stage and start its life cycle anew, escaping the aging and death process typically associated with old age. This jellyfish can be found in various regions worldwide, primarily in warm tropical waters, drifting along with the ocean currents. Its diet consists of small aquatic organisms such as plankton, invertebrate larvae, and other microscopic creatures. The exceptional biological trait of the immortal jellyfish has sparked considerable interest in aging research. Scientists are studying its transdifferentiation ability to gain insights into potential applications in regenerative medicine and to enhance our understanding of the aging process in humans. While the immortal jellyfish's regenerative capability is indeed impressive, it is not invulnerable. It remains susceptible to disease, predation, and other environmental factors that may limit its population growth. The big fin squid is the ocean's true nightmare. Describing it without a picture would make it seem mythical, but these squids are indeed real, though incredibly elusive. Found in the deepest parts of the sea, their most striking feature is their extraordinarily long tentacles, which can stretch over 20 feet. These tentacles are thought to scrape the ocean floor for food. This species is the only one known to inhabit the hot all zone, the deepest part of the ocean, ranging from 20,000 to 36,000 feet below sea level. The existence of this eerie creature raises questions about what other mysterious and terrifying species might lurk in the depths. The Gulf of Mexico dead zone is a significant area of hypoxic waters, regions with low oxygen levels, located off the coasts of Louisiana and Texas. This phenomenon, which occurs annually, is primarily caused by nutrient runoff from agricultural fertilizers and wastewater that enter the Gulf via the Mississippi River. During the spring and summer months, excessive nutrients, particularly nitrogen and phosphorus, promote algal blooms, which, when they die off and decompose, consume large amounts of oxygen in the water, creating dead zones where marine life struggles to survive. Fish, shrimp, and other marine organisms either flee the area or succumb to the low oxygen conditions, leading to severe ecological consequences, 
and impacting local fisheries. The dead zone has been recorded at various sizes, with the largest observed reaching over 6,000 square miles, making it one of the most significant marine hypoxic areas in the world. Point Nemo in the South Pacific Ocean is renowned as one of the most isolated places on Earth. Dubbed the Oceanic Pole of Inaccessibility, it is about 2,688 kilometers from the nearest land. This extreme seclusion makes Point Nemo the epitome of isolation, a status calculated to be the farthest point from any landmass. Named after Captain Nemo from Jules Verne's novel, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Point Nemo also serves a unique purpose as a graveyard for decommissioned spacecraft. Old satellites and space stations are directed to re-enter Earth's atmosphere over this remote location, ensuring they disintegrate safely. Due to its remoteness, the closest humans to Point Nemo are often astronauts aboard the International Space Station. The bowhead whale is notable as the oldest known mammal, with some living over two centuries. These massive creatures, recognizable by their distinctive bowed heads, are remarkable for their size and exceptional longevity. Their long lifespans offer a glimpse into the mysteries of the animal kingdom, highlighting their status as the longest living mammal species in the ocean. Leviathan, a mythical sea creature, holds a significant place in various religious texts, particularly the Hebrew Bible and ancient Near Eastern mythologies. Described as an enormous and fearsome sea monster or serpent, Leviathan represents chaos and the untamed forces of nature. Mentioned in books such as Job, Psalms, and Isaiah, Leviathan often symbolizes chaos or malevolence requiring divine control. In the book of Job, Leviathan's immense power is highlighted to emphasize that only God can master such a formidable creature. The book of Psalms references Leviathan as part of the praise for God's dominion over creation. Similar sea monsters appear in other ancient Near Eastern mythologies, like the Babylonian Tiamat and the Canaanite Lotan. Throughout history, Leviathan has inspired countless artistic representations and interpretations, often depicted as a fearsome sea serpent or dragon-like creature. Vertical migration is a common behavior among marine organisms, especially zooplankton, tiny creatures essential to the marine food web. This daily movement up and down the water column is driven by feeding and predator avoidance strategies. At night, zooplankton ascend to surface waters to feed on phytoplankton. During the day, they retreat to deeper waters to avoid predators. The depth and timing of these migrations vary, with some zooplankton migrating only a few meters, while others travel hundreds of meters. This behavior is synchronized with daily light levels. Researchers use tools like plankton nets, acoustic monitoring, and remotely operated vehicles to study vertical migration, which helps understand marine ecosystems since zooplankton are a vital food source and facilitate energy and nutrient transfer in the ocean. Heraklion, also known as Thonis Heraklion, was an ancient Egyptian port city at the Nile River's mouth, where it meets the Mediterranean Sea. Dating back to the 8th century BCE, Heraklion was a bustling trade hub, connecting Egypt with the broader Mediterranean region. Named after the legendary Hercules, the city's significance extended beyond commerce, serving as a cultural exchange center. Heraklion mysteriously disappeared due to subsidence, rising sea levels and natural disasters, submerging beneath the Mediterranean waters. Rediscovered through underwater archaeological expeditions in the 20th and 21st centuries, it revealed a wealth of ancient artifacts, including statues, ceramics, and architectural remnants. Notable finds include artifacts from Cleopatra's era, such as a temple dedicated to the goddess Isis and Cleopatra's submerged palace. These discoveries have deepened our understanding of ancient trade routes and cultural exchanges in the Mediterranean region. Upsweep is a strange recurring underwater sound that has baffled scientists. Characterized by high-frequency, narrow-band sounds that sweep upward, it resembles a sequence of whistles or musical tones. This unique sound has been primarily detected in the Pacific Ocean. Believed to originate in the South Pacific, west of the Galapagos Islands, Upsweep exhibits seasonal variations, peaking in spring and fall. Despite extensive research, the exact cause remains unknown, though it is thought to have a natural origin, possibly linked to underwater volcanic activity, geological processes, or ocean currents. 
The train sound is another mysterious underwater phenomenon characterized by its long duration and high energy, resembling the rhythmic clatter of a moving train. Detected through underwater hydrophones in various ocean regions, the train sound remains an enigma. Despite extensive monitoring, the exact source and cause are unknown. It is intermittently heard at regular intervals, making it challenging to study. Ongoing research employs advances in underwater acoustics to unravel this phenomenon's mysteries and understand its origin and significance. A globster typically refers to an unidentified organic mass that washes ashore, characterized by its large amorphous shape and indiscernible identity. These mysterious masses have sparked various speculations and myths about their origins. Globsters don't resemble any known creature or object and might be composed of decomposed organic matter, like whales, mixed with environmental factors that alter their appearance. However, due to their bizarre and unidentified appearance, they have led to speculation about mythical creatures or unknown species. The term globster was coined in 1962 to describe a mysterious carcass that washed ashore in Tasmania, Australia. Since then, similar unidentified organic masses have been discovered worldwide, leading to continued public fascination and scientific inquiry. The SMU-28 was a German submarine in the Imperial German Navy during World War I. One notable incident associated with it involves a controversial event that led to widespread legend. On July 30, 1915, the SMU-28 sank the British steamer Iberian. Following the sinking, crew members claimed to have witnessed a massive explosion that sent debris, fish, and a huge creature into the air. Captain von Forstner described seeing a monstrous, crocodile-like sea creature. This account fueled legends suggesting the explosion disturbed a sea monster or prehistoric creature. Reports vary, with some suggesting it could have been a colossal squid or another marine creature, while others remain skeptical. According to old lore, carnivorous seaweed in the Sargasso Sea was responsible for several crews' disappearances in the 1800s. This body of water is known for its massive accumulations of sargassum seaweed and calm, warm waters. Several empty ships have been found in these waters with no crew on board. For example, in 1840, the French merchant ship Rosalie sailed through the Sargasso Sea and was later discovered with its sails set, but no crew members. Additionally, when sailors went overboard, they often did not return, leading to beliefs that the seaweed consumed them. However, there is no evidence of man-eating seaweed. The seaweed was so dense that it was difficult for ships to navigate, and sailors who fell overboard likely drowned. The mystery of ghost ships in this area remains, with some suggesting the nearby Bermuda Triangle might contribute to the phenomenon. The Montauk Monster refers to an unidentified carcass that washed ashore near Montauk, New York in July 2008. The creature's unusual appearance sparked widespread speculation about its origins. The carcass, about the size of a small dog or large rodent, had leathery, grayish skin, sharp teeth, and a beak-like structure. Various theories emerged, ranging from a government experiment gone wrong to a mutant creature or unknown species. Experts suggested it was likely a decomposed raccoon or another animal that lost its hair and features due to decomposition in the water. Despite these explanations, the carcass's unusual appearance has kept the mystery alive. In 1281 Kublai Khan, the Mongol ruler of the Yuan dynasty, launched an ambitious naval expedition to invade Japan with an estimated fleet of around 400 ships and over 100,000 soldiers. However, this formidable armada faced an unexpected turn of fate when a powerful typhoon struck the fleet while it was anchored off the coast of Kyushu. The storm, known as the Kamikaze or Divine Wind, wreaked havoc, destroying a significant portion of the fleet and causing the loss of thousands of troops. Despite the Mongol Empire's might, the remnants of Kublai Khan's lost fleet were never fully recovered, leading to speculation about the sunken vessels and their treasures. The disaster not only thwarted the invasion, but also cemented Japan's reputation for resilience against foreign threats. High Brazil is a legendary island that has captivated the imaginations of sailors and explorers for centuries. 
First mentioned in medieval texts, it is said to lie off the west coast of Ireland, often shrouded in mist and only visible for a brief period every seven years. Early maps depicted High Brazil as a land of riches, complete with golden temples and an advanced civilization, fueling many quests to find it. Various accounts describe the island as being inhabited by a wise and advanced people who possess magical qualities. Despite numerous expeditions and sightings reported by sailors, no one has ever conclusively located the island, leading to speculation about its existence. Some theories suggest High Brazil could be a misidentification of real landmasses, while others believe it represents an ancient memory of a sunken civilization. The term shadow zone refers to specific regions of the ocean where sound waves and light are unable to penetrate due to various environmental factors, resulting in a profound lack of visibility and communication. These areas often occur at significant depths, where the combination of immense pressure, temperature gradients, and the ocean's physical properties creates unique acoustic and optical phenomena. In these shadow zones, sonar and other detection methods become ineffective, making them some of the least explored and understood areas of the ocean. Researchers speculate that these enigmatic zones could harbor undiscovered marine life and geological features. The Stronse beast, or Stronse monster, is an unidentified carcass that washed ashore on Stronse in the Orkney Islands, Scotland, in 1808. The 55-foot-long carcass had flippers, a long neck, and a serpent-like body, sparking curiosity and debate about its origins. Some speculated it was a sea serpent or unknown sea monster. The discovery gained international attention, with various theories suggesting it might have been the decomposing remains of a basking shark. The carcass's decay and distortion due to decomposition contributed to its unusual appearance. Despite attempts to study the remains, no definitive conclusions were drawn, and the Stronsay beast remains an unsolved mystery. The Casper octopus, a newly discovered species, was first observed in 2016 in the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii. This octopus gained its informal name due to its translucent, ghostly appearance, reminiscent of the cartoon character Casper the Friendly Ghost. Scientists believe that its ghostly white coloring may result from a lack of pigment in its food. The Casper octopus has short arms and lacks the typical pigmentation found in other deep-sea species. Specimens were observed at depths of 4,290 meters, where they were seen laying their eggs on sea sponges. Despite being a relatively recent discovery, the Casper octopus has captured the curiosity of the scientific community and the public alike. The mystery of Amelia Earhart, one of aviation's most enduring enigmas, includes a grim theory involving coconut crabs. Earhart and her navigator, Fred Noonan, vanished over the Pacific Ocean in 1937 while attempting to circumnavigate the globe. Numerous theories have emerged over the years, one of which suggests that coconut crabs might have played a role in their fate. These large, land-dwelling crustaceans, known for their scavenging behavior and strong feeding capabilities, inhabit the Pacific region. The theory speculates that Earhart and Noonan might have crash-landed on a remote island or washed ashore, where coconut crabs could have consumed their remains, leaving no definitive traces behind. Experiments with pig carcasses have shown that coconut crabs can devour a body in about two weeks, adding a disturbing layer to the mystery of Earhart's disappearance. Bermeja is a phantom island allegedly situated near the northern coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. Mapped by prominent Spanish cartographers in the 16th century, it has been the subject of numerous studies and surveys from 1997 to 2009, none of which found the island. In the 1970s, Bermeja even served as a reference point for Mexico's 200 nautical mile economic zone. However, in 1997, a naval fishing crew searching for the island was unable to locate it. Despite multiple expeditions and investigations, the island appeared to have vanished. Some believe Bermeja never existed, suggesting the early cartographers either made an error in their maps or placed the island incorrectly. Another theory proposes that the island was submerged by rising sea levels over the centuries. A more outlandish idea speculates that the CIA destroyed the island to gain an economic advantage in the region.
the St. Augustine Monster. In November 1896, a peculiar and enormous carcass washed ashore near St. Augustine, Florida. This massive decaying mass, dubbed the St. Augustine Monster, puzzled locals and scientists alike with its strange, unrecognizable form. Initial theories ranged from it being an undiscovered sea monster to a giant octopus or whale. For a time, the true nature of this creature remained a subject of debate. Eventually, scientific analysis revealed it to be the remains of a sperm whale, albeit in such an advanced state of decomposition that its original form was unidentifiable. The St. Augustine monster remains a notable case in cryptozoology due to the extensive speculation and mystery that surrounded it before its identification as a whale carcass. Phantom Islands Phantom Islands are mythical landmasses that were once charted on maps but later proved non-existent or could never be found again. Throughout history, these mysterious islands appeared due to cartographic mistakes, optical illusions, or changing geographical conditions. Early mapmakers' errors, atmospheric phenomena, and environmental shifts, such as volcanic activity or rising sea levels, often led to the creation of these illusory lands. Examples include Sandy Island in the Coral Sea, Pajam in the Gulf of Mexico, and the legendary island of Brazil in the Atlantic Ocean. The legend of the Merman of Banff revolves around a supposed mummified creature discovered in Banff, Scotland, in the early 19th century. This intriguing artifact reportedly resembles a human figure with fish-like features. The specimen was displayed in a local museum, drawing curious visitors, but the scientific community remained skeptical about its authenticity. Subsequent investigations suggested it may have been a taxidermy creation rather than a genuine discovery. Ningen. The Ningen is a mythical creature rooted in Japanese folklore, described as a colossal, humanoid-like being inhabiting the frigid waters of Antarctica. The name Ningen translates to human in Japanese, reflecting its human-like appearance. Allegedly, the Ningen has a pale, white or bluish complexion and measures between 20 to 30 meters long. It is said to possess a humanoid head with an aquatic, mermaid-like body, complete with limbs resembling arms and legs. The legend of the Ningen gained popularity in the early 2000s, especially on online forums, despite lacking concrete scientific evidence. Some speculate it might be an undiscovered species living in the Antarctic Ocean's depths, but the Ningen's existence remains a fascinating piece of folklore and cryptid lore without substantial proof. Antarctic Godzilla The so-called Antarctic Godzilla refers to a mysterious sea mammal reported by a Japanese research ship in 1958 in Antarctic waters. Named by the captain of the Soya for its likeness to the fictional monster, Antarctic Godzilla sparked curiosity among cryptozoologists. Some suggest it might belong to the same species as the Kaban. Cosmic Ocean The Cosmic Ocean metaphorically describes the vast, enigmatic expanse of the universe, comparing it to an ocean brimming with galaxies, stars, planets, dark matter, and other cosmic wonders. Eltanen Antenna the Eltanen antenna refers to an enigmatic object discovered in the Southern Ocean. During one expedition in 1964, the crew found an unusual elongated metal object on the seafloor near Antarctica. Dubbed the Eltanen antenna because of its straight, metallic tube-like appearance, the object sparked numerous theories about its origin. Some speculated it could be extraterrestrial, while others thought it might be a man-made artifact. Subsequent analysis suggested it was likely a man-made object, such as an antenna mast or whip antenna lost by a ship traveling through the region. Despite this explanation, the Eltanen antenna continues to intrigue those fascinated by unexplained oceanic discoveries. Ocean at Night The concept of the ocean at night conjures a sense of mystery and unease for many due to the vast, dark, and largely unexplored depths. At night, the ocean is plunged into darkness, creating a sense of infinite and unknown expanses that can evoke fear of the unknown. Strange and unique deep-sea creatures, many with adaptations for life in the dark, add to this feeling. Contorted Squid When deep-sea creatures are observed for the first time, even seasoned marine biologists can be taken aback. On April 17, 2022, this inverted, folded-up squid appeared on camera during an expedition submersible dive. In the video, 
The squid's body appeared dramatically curled inward, with its arms folded in a defensive pose, and four limbs extended outward, making it almost unrecognizable as a squid. Sea People Invasion The Sea People Invasion refers to the migrations and incursions of various seafaring groups during the Late Bronze Age and Early Iron Age, particularly between 1200 and 1100 BCE. These invasions caused significant upheaval, contributing to the collapse of several powerful ancient civilizations. The Sea Peoples were a confederation of different groups from regions such as the Aegean, Anatolia, and the Eastern Mediterranean. They sought new territories and opportunities, targeting the coastal regions of major civilizations like the Hittites, Mycenaeans, and the Egyptian New Kingdom. One of the most documented conflicts was the Battle of the Delta, where Rameses III of Egypt successfully repelled the Sea Peoples. The motivations behind these migrations remain debated, with theories suggesting climate change, famine, or socio-political unrest in their home regions as possible drivers. Giant Cannibal Shark The idea of a giant cannibal shark often surfaces in pop culture, documentaries, and sensational media stories. While there is no solid evidence of a singular giant shark preying exclusively on other sharks, the concept stems from the broader reality that large sharks do sometimes eat smaller ones. This notion gained particular attention from a 2003 incident involving a tagged great white shark that seemingly disappeared with data indicating it had been consumed by a larger predator. Although this event suggests the presence of large predators in the ocean, the idea of a specific giant cannibal shark remains largely speculative and sensationalized. The unidentified Sagami Bay creature became infamous in 1971 when a Japanese fishing vessel caught a bizarre specimen off Sagami Bay near the Miura Peninsula. The creature, described as a long, tubular entity with reddish-brown skin and measuring approximately 10 meters in length, had a pointed snout and no visible eyes, sparking various theories about its identity. Scientific analysis suggested it might be a deep-sea fish, but the poor condition of the specimen left its true nature uncertain. Bimini Road The Bimini Road, or Bimini Wall, is a submerged rock formation near North Bimini Island in the Bahamas, consisting of large limestone blocks arranged in a linear pattern reminiscent of a paved road or man-made structure. Discovered in the 1960s, the Bimini Road quickly attracted attention and debate from both archaeological and pseudoscientific communities. Controversy surrounds its origin, with some suggesting it is evidence of an ancient lost civilization, while most geologists believe it to be a natural geological formation. The prevailing view is that the limestone blocks are naturally formed beach rock, or limestone, resulting from the cementation of ancient beach sediments. This ongoing debate highlights the tension between natural geological explanations and alternative theories about potential lost civilizations. Call of the Deep The Call of the Deep is a psychological phenomenon similar to the well-known Call of the Void, where individuals experience an inexplicable urge to jump from high places. In the case of the call of the deep, this urge manifests as a desire to swim down into the ocean's depths. Like its terrestrial counterpart, this phenomenon is an example of intrusive thoughts or cognitive dissonance, where individuals feel a compelling yet irrational impulse to dive into the deep sea. While not widely studied, this experience is believed to be linked to the human brain's complex interplay between curiosity, fear, and the survival instinct. 